guys, it's Julia, and for today's video, I'm going to be talking about these three books right here. Basically, if you aren't aware, this is a poetry series by Amanda Lovelace, who has gained some popularity in the past few years. She came out with The Princess Saves Herself in this one, which is the first book. This deals with feminist themes, women fighting for themselves, not relying on men to save them, how that king figure or prince or whatever is not always ideal and it's not always what you expect either. The back of the book says this story of a princess turned damsel turned queen, so it's very empowering. It's received a lot of good reviews. It's You've probably heard a lot of booktubers talk about how good it is. And The Witch Doesn't Burn in this one came out, which this one focuses more on witches and the Salem witch trials and covens and all that fun stuff, which I love. So like burn whoever tries to burn you. So it talks about like female empowerment, but like with a witchy point of view. And that's what's really fun about this one. Then just recently on March 5th, so I don't know if this, when this is going up, but the Mermaid Voice returns in this one, also releases. I don't like this lighting. So this book is The Mermaid's Voice Returns in this one. This one is just coming out in March. So if you're watching this around that time, then it's probably just released. Um, this one said, and she tore the stars apart. So this is more about like a mermaid's mer perspective, like not perspective, but like it kind of has some themes that reflect back to mermaids. It's probably like the least like topic heavy out of the three like this one literally probably like talks about witches a ton princesses a ton um this one did as well but not as much as these in my opinion basically something to note about these is like the biggest critique is about the poems like in the structure of them so like they're pretty short poems as you can see um some of them are longer than others some of them are like a few words some of them are a few pages some of them have like designs so the poem it has the letters like and it makes up like a locket or something so like the designs of these are really cool but the critique is that they're you know some of them are like not poetry that like instagram um instagram poets or modern poetry isn't real poetry um that's a huge critique for um that i see a lot especially for people who are a bit older and are used to modern poet or are <laughs> used to classical poetry they don't like modern poetry and the way that it's structured. I think these are very important though and despite like some of them being shorter I think they just pack a punch that way and like just hearing just seeing like reading someone's view on something that you can identify with is always good. I will be sure to like link or like write down or something some trigger warnings down below in case you're interested but I know this one does have a list of trigger warnings so I actually met this author and I got these books signed not the last one because that one just came out it does have a lot of important themes in it including like sexual assault is a big one and all three of them um abuse is a big one uh, I feel like these books are mainly geared towards women because of just like that princess mermaid aspect as well. Um, usually they talk about men in kind of a negative light due to like the author's personal experiences and how, you know, certain people, not even just men, but like just certain people can be abusive in a lot of ways and that life's not the perfect fairy tale, um, which is kind of what you learn in The Princess Saves Herself in this one. Which Doesn't Burn in this one is probably my favorite out of the three. I do love witchy stuff, so I uh, like do look into witchcraft and like Wiccan and um, stuff along those lines. I know they are different. So this one is my personal favorite and I feel like I identify with this one the most. And just because I do like witches, not to say if you're not practicing witchcraft, you won't like this, but it's just if you're interested in the Salem Witch Trials at all and you like those kind of stories, this is like a really good version of it that also deals with like really tough topics but does have that um, element throughout it that brings like the magic and the witchiness and the all that stuff. Like burn whoever tries to burn you is like a huge thing throughout this so like I just really like that and like standing up for yourself and these just have such important themes in them and de definitely depending on who, like I would suggest these to like most people because of how empowering they are and about how much they talk about and how important they are for like just women especially to read but like anybody honestly like I know there's a lot of um there's obviously a ton of other people who have read and enjoyed these books as well other than females but I'm just saying like I'm like especially if um 
you've been through something and you're able to read about like your experience um, or a similar experience if you know what I'm saying <laughs> then definitely pick up this series you don't have to read them in order but they do all tie together so like the first book is technically the princess saves herself in this one then the witch doesn't burn in this one and then the mermaid's voice returns in this one so this is like them like the voice coming back um you know which is not being burned and like avoiding the, like execution and like getting through things themselves and then the princess saves herself in this one is more about like a female doing them being them and yeah so these books are some of my favorites i just wanted to talk about them today i have rated four stars 4.5 stars and four stars all of which were sent to me by andrews mcmill publishing at some point in exchange for an honest review so thank you so much to them i absolutely adore these books um i think they're wonderful i think they have important messages i really like amanda lovelace's writing and i think her poems are always really strong i don't think they lack in a lot of areas i've read so many poetry collections now and like i've always gone back to these um i've reread these both like two or three times each i just really enjoy them and when i need poetry to read i always grab towards these um i'm sure i'll be reading this one a giving it another go just because i like rereading her stuff and i like this author's work so much they're all like four to 4.5 star reads for me like i don't give a lot of books five anyways but like they're all very high rates for me but like this one's probably like my least favorite then with princess then with this one so like if you've read all of them let me know like your order that you think that you like them the best obviously personal preference but yeah i just want to talk a little bit about those because i read the most recent one recently and i just really liked it and i feel like i've talked about this series and other past poetry recommendations i have a lot of those i'll link them down below if you are interested in other poetry recommendations obviously i'm not trying to bash anyone that doesn't like these books or that loves these books i'm just giving like my opinion and i know there's people who have very specific critiques about not just her collection but other modern poetry writers and how they structure their poems and how it's not real poetry and things like that so i just wanted to mention that because i know that might come up in the comments but yeah i love it so much i also like other poetry so like i'm not just into modern poetry i do like some older poems as well i'm a big fan of like sylvia plath and things like that so these are wonderful modern poetry collections and definitely if you are interested in getting into poetry i would suggest these if you um need some empowerment some motivation i would definitely suggest these i think like amanda lovelace is such a lovely person um she's also asexual like she um is also like wiccan i believe or she practices witchcraft um but she's obviously like just such a good person like such a nice person i met her before but yeah that's my thoughts on this series i'm so excited for what else she's going to be releasing in the future um let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you like this video give it a thumbs up let me know your thoughts on these books in the comments if you've read any of them I will have like a list of trigger warnings down below just for you guys in case or like a link to some trigger warnings just for you guys to have in case you need them. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you super soon. Bye.